Well, Stephen and Diana, actually one of his alleged victims was in court today for that arraignment. The courtroom was packed, mostly with media, but also friends and family of Etwan Wilson, who was sitting there and hoping to see Elias Abu Lazim in court. Bringing this suspect back to Michigan has really been two weeks in the making. A lot of security, a lot of logistics involved. And now the Genesee prosecutor says they are ready to build a bigger case. Elias Abu Lazim's face appeared in a Genesee County courtroom by video late this afternoon, accused of assault with intent to murder. But investigators say he's behind a terrifying stabbing spree with 14 victims in Michigan alone that left five dead. Arrested two weeks ago in Atlanta, Michigan State Police brought him back today, landing at Flint's Bishop Airport, flanked by police. Now Abu Lazim is in the Genesee County Jail. He'll be kept on the fifth floor in a cell by himself. The sheriff spoke with him when he arrived. Said that he expressed some concern about all of the cameras being around, and I told him he's going to have to get used to it. That's the way it's going to be for him for quite a while. One of Abu Lazim's alleged victims, Etwan Wilson, came to court today and was disappointed Abu Lazim wasn't there in person. I thought we was going to be able to see him today. I wanted to see his face, you know, and just to show my support um, to have him being locked up. Prosecutors say they are working on a bigger case against Abu Lazim and intend to add more charges soon. Abu Lazim's attorney says he is preparing his client. If he understands it's serious, I conveyed to him that in the, in the media at least that uh, this is serious stuff going on. As this case moves forward, Abu Lazim will have the opportunity to meet with his attorneys at the Genesee County Jail. The prosecutor, David Layton, says he wants justice for the five families of the five victims that he believes is connected in this case. Reporting live in downtown Flint tonight, I'm Christy McDonald, Channel 7 Action News. Christy, what about security at the jail? Is Abu Lazim locked up away from other inmates? He is, Diana. He's in a restricted area. They call it a restricted housing area. And as you saw in that video earlier when he flew in today, they had him in a bulletproof vest. And you saw in his mugshot, he was still wearing that vest. They are going to keep him away from the general population up on the fifth floor of the jail. And there are only 12 other prisoners in that area. All of them have their own cells. And they are under constant guard. Also, video, video surveillance as much for the deputy's safety as for Abu Lazim's. They want to make sure that he is safe and that he is not a target in any way. Diana? All right. Thank you, Christy.